Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? It's Trey Money here with the Billionaire Success Team, and I just wanted to share something with uh, a frustration that I just went through as far as trying to enable this sound and enable for you to hear me while I'm using uh, the Screenomatic software. And then also I have Kim, Camtasia, and it, it wasn't working on there either. So I knew it had something to do with my computer. I have an old computer, mind you. I have a compact NX9420. So, of course, it's an old computer. So what happened was this is how I um, fixed it. It took me a while to get it after Googling for a while, going into different forums, and I wasn't able to find a straightforward answer. But there could be different. There could be a numerous amount of reasons why your computer may be doing the same thing. But this is basically a solution that I found, so I just wanted to make a video. So hopefully I can help somebody else out. All right, so basically the sound wasn't working. Um, after doing some searching, I went to find out. If you go over here to the speaker here on your on your lower taskbar, if you right-click and go to recording devices or playback devices, it goes to the same thing. At first, this option right here, stereo mix, it wasn't available, right? This wasn't available at all. It was only microphone and line in that was available for me to choose from. And um, on the forums, they told you to, you know, go right click on the white space and then click on show disabled and show disconnected devices. And then stereo mixes pop up sometimes. I tried that. It didn't happen for me, right? That was before I had this program here called SoundMax Integrated. Before I had, I believe it's Realtek or Realtrek that, um, that was downloaded on a computer. And that was the device. That was what the computer was using as a sound device, and it only had these two options here. So in order for me to find the stereo mix, in, in order for me to have this option, what I did was I went and I just Googled the make of my computer, HP Compact NX9420, and I put sound drivers after that. And Google took me over here to an HP website. So what I found is right now, the system that I'm running is Windows 7. But a lot of the uh, answers on the forum were saying that Windows 7 doesn't allow sound mix and uh, different types of things. So when you actually, when I actually got to the HP drivers, I don't even have a Windows 7 option to download um, any sound cards for Windows 7. So I uh, found this one here because Windows 7 is a 64-bit, and I just clicked on the uh, Vista uh, business for a 64-bit, and I just used that. And after downloading here where it says audio, I downloaded the ADI Sound Max, clicked here, downloaded, did the whole thing. And, you know, after it restarted, lo and behold, this stereo mix popped up, right? So um, even when the stereo mix popped up, at first I, I wasn't hearing anything. It was just, uh, it, it was, it was just blank. And I'm using just a regular stereo jack that, you know, you would connect into your cell phone and talk off of that. So I'm just using that. So, so you know, nothing fancy. And what I did was, um, you know, they told me to go into these properties and test a bunch of things out. Click on listen to this device. It came back with a whole bunch of noise. Right now my settings is on default playback device. My levels is on 64. Um, if you click on properties, there's really nothing there that you can do. So I kind of just played around with it. I went back to playback. Oh, yeah, that was another thing that was very important. After going to this playback and right-clicking on speakers, I went to this properties and speakers, and I went to levels. At first, this line in was actually muted. All right, so then I, I unclicked that, unmuted it, clicked OK, and so that helped out. And then I went into the program here. And this microphone option, uh, you're not able to see, but there was an option where it asked you which microphone you wanted to use. And I just chose different ones until I started to hear a sound that came into it. Um, I think it was the um, using the, the sound card device instead of using the default. So I hope that helps somebody and trying to figure out. And, you know, I, I, don't, I know how frustrating it was for me. I actually remember looking this information up a few weeks ago and fixing it and then somehow the computer went back to the settings. I guess it's on an automatic update for the cards. So you may have to watch for an automatic update if your computer does that and you may find yourself fixing the problem again. So anyway, I hope that helps you helps you guys out. I'm out of here. If you have any other questions, 
You can comment in the video, comment box below, and I'll try to get back to you, all right? Trade Money here, Billionaire Success Team, moneytimenow.com. All right, see you guys later.